was a little disappointing because of their, their talks that they had this last couple weeks. Uh, and then uh, President Trump wants to put more tariffs on some of the products coming into the U.S. Uh, it, it still is advantageous that they're going to meet in September. The last three or four years has been a challenge because uh, the pricing structure for milk has been uh, on a down, downside. Uh, we've got a little bit more supply than what we have for demand. So it would be better if we had increased demand and uh, better trade packs would do that. Uh, so we are struggling to a certain extent, uh, but uh, hopefully uh, 2019 is bringing us some better prices. They're eating for two. What, what, what would affect us is that um, in the near term, those prices are going to look at that and there will be some volatility. Uh, China will buy product from some place, whether it's, if it's not the U.S., it may be uh, Australia, New Zealand. So from there, where they would have exported to is going to create a vacuum. So we'll, hopefully the U.S. will then be able to fill that vacuum with our product, not necessarily to China. So. It may not go directly to them, but I think it will go to other parts of the world because China's buying that product from other people. We try to uh, decrease our expenses as much as we can so we have a better margin uh, and we can make some money. It's a little frustrating to, to think that maybe we're bigger than what we really are. I mean, we're just one vote, or I'm just one vote, I guess. But it's, uh, it's, uh, it is the rural vote that uh, helped uh, President Trump get into office. And I think that's what uh, China's trying to play that and move them against them. Uh, he has helped the farmers with the MFP payments uh, and such to, to help uh, us maybe with a little more income. Uh, but I think uh, in the, as long as they can keep talking, I guess I'm, uh, I'm happy about that. Uh, but we'll see what happens in the, in the next few months.